Okay, today we are playing a game on Oasis. We were in the gold SR range and we were playing Zarya the entire way through. There's nothing else to say, so let's start the game. So, University first, boosting forward a little bit. Mercy, would you like to get some ult charge off of healing us? No, no, that's okay. That's your decision to make. No pressure. So, nobody is appearing over there, so they must be up to no good. Soldiers up on the high ground. We can see nobody else, so presumably they're all going up there as well, which indeed it looks to be the case. So, hey, not usually a strat you see on Oasis, but hey, you know. So we just bubbled Reinhardt right there. This is not a bubble that's likely to do very much. It might get us a little bit of ult charge, but honestly not really that much. Because currently, Arissa shooting at him, and that's it. And Arissa looks like she's about to stop, so this bubble isn't going to result in too much other than maybe a little bit of charge. And now we haven't got our bubble to save the soldier right there. Uh, Moira also died right there, so this fight's already looking pretty fucked. Arine's in there swinging, we bubbled him. Doomfist just shot past us, so good luck whoever was dealing with that. Oh, now it's our problem. We're not going to fight the Doomfist off when everybody's dead. So, could have dis tried disengaging from that sooner. We wanted to help the boys in there fighting still, but I mean, it wasn't looking good. When you lose, like, Moira and Soldier, Moira being our main healer, and then Soldier right at the start, it's not looking good. So, we looked like we were hesitant to engage, and rightfully so. Goodbye, Ryan. He just went backwards through that teleporter. Uh, so, we only managed to get half our ult built up, but I mean, no. That's better than you do on some of these maps. Bubbled Ryan as he uh, countercharged the enemy Reinhardt. Unfortunate that he countercharged him, to be honest with you, but I mean, he can't know that we're gonna bubble him, so... Because if he just got pinned, and we bubble him, oh, he goes all the way over there, and suddenly there, Reinhardt's, like, further in our team, and we got all the juicy ult, ult charge off of it. Our Ryan's still full health. Good times. Uh, but he can't know that we're about to bubble him, so just countercharging is the correct play for him. But we are a little bit sad, obviously. It results in less charge for us, usually, anyway. Sometimes you get the same amount of charge off of it. So, hey, there goes Soldier. We won the team fight, got control of the point most of the way towards Graviton now. Hooray, they're only 40% towards capturing, so even if they flip us, we've got time for another fight. So we've got Symmetra and Bastion on our team, so we're relatively static. It's going to be a little bit harder to gain ult charge off of these people usually, but no. Oh, did we block Earth Shatter right there? The frame rate kind of went to shit suddenly. I think we blocked Earth Shatter. Even if we didn't, Reinhardt was going to block it regardless, so that's very nice. Unfortunately, Soldier still killed two people with Tac Visor, and Bastion's dead. We've lost both our DPS. Things are looking unfortunate. Now Ryan's dead as well. We have at least managed to build up Graviton, but we don't really want to use... Oh, maybe now? That guy fell in the pit. Yeah, that's fair enough at this point, because that guy fell in the pit, and Mercy just rezzed Reinhardt. Who was it that fell in the pit? It was there, Reinhardt, correct? Yeah, he fell in the pit, so... Hey, now's a fine time to use Graviton suddenly. Hey, things are looking a lot better. Uh, unfortunately, we did not catch all the bad men. So... I, I, you know, chucking it at the wall is all well and good, you know. Unfortunately, we didn't catch their soldier. Either way, we don't want to just sit here being shot at through the amplification matrix. We got two decisions to make, or two choices we could make here. We could say, alright, didn't get everybody I wanted to get with this graviton, whatever, get out of the way of amplification matrix. Or we say, this is good enough and push through the amplification matrix to start shooting them. Because, at least if we move through it, they can't be shooting us through the amplification matrix. And we're high charge right now. We can bully people around, you know? Like, there's not too many people over here. We can try and bully them with our high charge. Uh, instead, we just kind of grabbed them and then went, eh, it's a little bit spooky over there, and didn't really commit either way. We just sort of stood in front of the amplification matrix when we could have been more decisive one way or the other. So, we, uh, Lucio... Oh, did Lucio just ult? Yeah, Lucio ulted. We... Did, where did he ult? Where did Lucio ult from? None of us seemingly got the ult. Um, I mean, you know, I guess he could be anywhere. Either way, we've pushed in, start drilling into them. Hooray, things are going well. We've built up half our ult again already. We're most of the way towards capturing it, so they're going to be rushing back at this point. We're in a fairly commanding position now. 
managed to maintain high charge for quite a while now, which is obviously a big deal of Zarya. And they're starting to trickle back now. Um, a few of them are going on the right side. Soldiers in there, push in on, try and push in on him a little bit. They've used the lamp. Oh god, there goes the frame rate again. They put the lamp up there inside that room, and they've now had to move on to the point, so we don't have to worry about the lamp for a little while. Tragically, we've lost both our DPS again, but that's okay. We're high charge. We're the best hero in the game right now. We'll make do enough DPS to make up for it. Uh, Mercy did res the Bastion right there. Unfortunately, he fucking died again. We didn't have our bubble, correct? No, we didn't have our bubble. Not even really that close, unfortunate. Um, we're still, like, a little bit afraid. That's not a very good angle for that amplification matrix. Uh, we're very hesitant to, like, do anything here. The, uh, Ryan does die. I just saw how Ryan died. That was very sad for him. Um, like, at this point, it's better to just, like, commit one way or the other. Am I gonna try and push in here and get some kills on these people? Nah, particularly likely to work out. All our DPS are dead. Our main tank is dead. We're stood here with a Mercy and a Lucio. Uh, we're not too likely to win this fight. Just try and disengage. Especially now Moira is using Coalescence. We just got Earth Shattered as well. And I'm a little upset we got hit by it, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's one of those ones where you're like, ah, I was around the wall, I'm pretty sure, actually. But... Earth shatters that way. M Mercy just decided to fucking kill herself right there. Now we should just definitely be leaving. There's, like, no way we win this fight at this point. Unless, like, the hand of Jeff himself comes down to bless us. Uh, and we're very low health. We should definitely be trying to disengage to get healed. Either, like, from the healers coming back or going over to the large health kit in the other room. We've been standing over there at extremely low health for a while. Now, I might have wanted to hug the wall while we were low because we were afraid we would die running to the other doorway. But once our bubble comes up, then we can try and make that run rather than just hanging around where they could come around the corner and clap us. So at this point, a lot of staggering is happening. We've got grav. We've still, like, decently high charge. We want to try and maintain this as much as we can. Um, at least, like, with our own personal bubble. You know, using the projective... I Right here, this one's not too likely to do very much, uh, unless they actually just shoot the, ba the bubble kind of for the sake of it. There's this thing with Zarya's bubble, where it's usually better to wait for the person to start taking damage and then bubble them, because you'll always get some ult charge out of it. Basically, to use the bubble a little more reactively rather than predictively. Because the thing is, when you bubble someone like that, a lot of the time you just get no charge off of it. Or very little charge, at least, because they just kind of see the bubble. If they're not already shooting at them, they kind of just go, oh, well, I shouldn't shoot at that person yet. But if they've already started shooting at the person, it's harder to stop yourself shooting once you've already started, but they're not going to react frame one and just stop firing, so you're always going to get a little charge out of it as opposed to putting it on somebody and just kind of, like, hoping they go out into it. Now, you can take that too far the other way. If they've got, like, crowd control, like you think the guy might get hooked or something like that, okay, fair enough, you put the ball on the guy a little bit sooner, but, you know, you bear in mind what crowd control they've got when you think about this. Similarly, if, like, Genji stood in front of Mercy with Dragon Blade, you don't really need to wait for her to start getting cut, you know? You can probably predict that he's going to try and cut her with a fairly high degree of accuracy. You can take that advice too far the other way, but usually just putting it on someone and kind of hoping they take damage doesn't result in too much charge, usually. Sometimes you call it right and you end up getting a big beefy amount of charge out of it, but not always. So here we bubble. We might have been trying to bubble Reinhardt as he charged by and just got Symmetra instead. Either way, not ideal. We want the Reinhardt to get bubbled there rather than the Symmetra. We're really trying to get this um, Graviton round down right now, which I understand, but we're taking a huge chunk of damage shooting that Bongo. And we are right next to Symmetra's barrier right now as well. So, like, this is a very noble goal to try and break this Bongo. It's not really going to do too much to most of our team, and we commit, like, a lot of health to breaking this. I'd rather just kind of, like, chuck the ult down than worry about it. 
grab if we can group him on the bongo even better we just as it stands we take a lot of damage drilling into that bongo then by the time we're able to put the graviton down we're kind of already dead because reinhardt's been swinging into our back most of that time as well uh it, it ends up being a fairly like unfortunate situation mostly for us because like it wasn't what I would consider to be an ideal engagement from the rest of our teammates, especially since they had just spent several seconds staggering themselves as well. Lucio was even dead as we were pushing in. So, you know, who said my bad? My bad, that was, it was uh, the Reinhardt that said that, correct? Yes, the Reinhardt said my bad. To be honest, yes, he charged in rather poorly. Uh, which is standard procedure for Reinhardt players, I'd know. We didn't do everything we could have done, we could have bubbled that guy, maybe the engage goes a little bit better, eh, either way, I wouldn't say Reinhardt picked a flawless engagement right there. So, anyway, now to uh, City Center. They've got a Junkrat, fantastic news for us, Junkrat usually results in a lot of free charge for Zarya. Right, Junkrat's dead right now. Terrible news, the enemy Junkrat's dead. There'll be no free charge for us right now. Who did we bubble? We bubbled Reinhardt. It looked like he might take some damage there, so it's kind of understandable, but again, we are only looking at Orisa, so it's uh, not too likely to result in a huge amount of charge. Now he's fighting a few more people over there, gets a little bit of charge. Either way, he's swinging into him, so it's like a good time to bubble them when the Reinhardt's running in, swinging at people. Got some old charge off of the, uh, oh. Where, where's he going? I mean, you know, we bubbled him as he's charging in. That's a noble goal. At this point, he's not gonna do anything, though. Like, this bubble is still not actually gonna do anything on him right now, because he's about to skirt right past the entire enemy team. Most of the enemy team is on the point right now. He's going past the point. He's not going to collide with any walls. So we end up bubbling Reinhardt off in no man's land. So we end up getting no charge off of it, and it mitigates no damage on Reinhardt anyway. Um, it's a noble goal to, to bubble the Reinhardt as he's charging in. We were just talking about how we wanted to do that. That time, however, uh, he's going to end up fucking nowhere. Nobody's going to be over there. We know where the rest of the team are, so the bubble ends up not amounting to anything. Now, we would have to predict where he was going to end up with that charge fairly quickly. So, you know, we'll not be too upset about it, but, you know... The big thing to look at with Zarya is always, like, how are you using your bubbles, you know? And so far, like... We did a good job of maintaining charge once we got it in the previous round, but I would say our bubble uh, efficiency hasn't been too high. We bubbled Reinhardt mad late there. He's already, like, most of this has already happened. Just bubbling him, like, right now would be fine. We end up waiting, like, a weirdly long time to do that. We had the bubble, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, we had the bubble, so, like, we end up bubbling him way late. Um, by the time we actually bubble him, he's out of line of sight of Orisa, so that ends up resulting in the bubble taking less damage, therefore less charge for us. Very sad. Um, we're still, like, decent charge, you know, we're not sad to be 40% charge, but we do wish we had more. So there we end, like, we got, like, 5 charge out of the bubble on that guy right there, on that Lucio. An example of a predictive bubble ending up resulting in nothing, because Lucio took... Enough, like, we got, like, 5% charge off of that. We got a lot more charge off of personal bubble, suddenly we're up to 70% charge. Bubble Ryan as he uses grab, uh, as he uses grab, that'd be scary. Bubble Ryan after he uses shatter, he's gonna be wanting to swing into the enemy team, so that's fair enough. There goes the frame rate. Uh, we, we whiffed on that in there, frame rate's really gone to shit. We whiffed, we whiffed the grab. We... Even if we didn't like that, best case for that grab was just gonna be the Moira, who can fade out of grab anyway, so... Even, like, if that hit the person we were aiming for, they just get out of it. Like, the best case for that, that grab was, like, it gets Moira, maybe gets Reinhardt if he starts backing up. But a little, let me tell you a little secret about Reinhardt players. They, they don't have an S key on their keyboard. They don't have one. They don't know what backing up means, okay? Again, I'd know. I made sure to pry that bitch right off. 
there'll be no backing up here. We follow the uh, World War II Russian mentality, not one step backwards. It was World War II, right? Fuck it, I don't know my Russian history. Either way, not a single step backwards. No retreat at all, or the Mercy's gonna shoot me in the back of the skull if I try and back up. It's just how it goes. If she doesn't do it, Anna will definitely do it. Anna doesn't give a fuck. Anyway, we've been winning this fight quite convincingly, and they don't make it back in time. Hooray, we won that round very convincingly. Which must be quite demoralizing for them after they won the previous round, to then turn around and get clapped 100-0. So, now, gardens? Is it just gardens? I think it's just gardens, right? It might be city gardens, something like that. I don't know. I don't remember all of the King of the Hill maps, okay? It's not important. So they got Bridget now. It's a little bit annoying, you know? Um, we want to try and... If we think she's about to try and, like, push through Ryan and, like, stun him or something like that, we're going to try and bubble that. Bubble the Mercy as she's resing that guy, as you do. Unfortunately, she dies regardless. This fight's been going to shit for a while at this point. Like, Reinhardt died extremely early in this team fight. And that really put us on the back foot for this one. Uh, we're doing our best. Damn, that Bridget's already managed to build up her ultimate. Um, so is Symmetra, to be fair. But usually, you know, Bridget building up her ultimate in the first team fight. That's, that's a pretty good Bridget performance so far. Oh, Lucio's got Sound Barrier built. Damn, Luci actually Sound Barrier. That's a pretty fast build for Sound Barrier. Baptiste is the last one to the support alt party. Even though he usually charges his ult the fastest. God, we are really fucking low right now. We want to keep the pressure on. We're starting to win the fight at this point. So we want to try and keep it going. So we bubble ourselves and keep moving forward. Very scary, but to be honest with you, I would have done the exact same thing. Fight's starting to turn around. We want to try and keep the pressure on them. And miraculously enough, we've actually managed to stall the fight out long enough. The rest of our team manages to get back, and we end up flipping the fight back around. Suddenly, we're winning. It's very hard for them to win anymore at this point. Try and chase the soldier. He gets to the health kit. Unfortunate. Just drill into the D.Va. Honestly, we could have gone harder on the D.Va. Anytime you see a D.Va, that's fucking free ult charge right there, brother. Especially if you're playing Zarya, right? You're playing Zarya, Mei, Symmetra. You see a D.Va, and that D.Va is mostly alone. Brother, that's some free ult charge. We got a personal barrier. We could try a little bit harder to get her. Uh, we were afraid of the soldier, likely, but I mean, he's running away, our whole team's there, it's just him and soldier. That's all I could do, we can get a little bit more ult charge out of that diva. Anytime there's a diva, sorry, I just kicked the table. Anytime there's a diva on the enemy team and you're playing Zarya, try and farm that hoe. So he's got Earth Shattered in front of Tac Visor. Miraculously, only one person died. Isn't that incredible? Uh, Reinhardt's also dead now. There's not a lot we do about the TAC Visor situation, and that largely led to this. Lucio's gotten back to more or less waste his ultimate, like it's just us at this point. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we turned it back around miraculously enough again. Hmm, Symmetra just died. How did Symmetra die? Symmetra, where were you? How did Symmetra die to this self-destruct? No, 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 no. Well, I mean, Bridget's kind of bullying her, I guess. Like, I'm a little upset she died to that self-destruct, to be honest with you. So, miraculously enough, again, we're actually going to turn this fight around, huh? Isn't that absolutely incredible? To be fair, we do have a Lucio, so that does mean our team gets to get back to the fight a little bit sooner. But, Jesus Christ, that's two, like, fights that looked completely hopeless that we managed to turn around anyway. How about that? So, we've got Grav built up. Someone's on the point behind us right now. We should be more concerned about that. Uh, we're playing the off tank right now, so here's how the thing goes with the main tank and the off tank, right? The main tank is the one that creates the space, and the off tank is the one that controls the space. So, the main tank, he should be up there doing what we're doing right there, which is like trying to hold back the bulk of the enemy team. And we should be behind our team, worrying about like the one person that's contest contesting the team behind us. Because it's the off tank's job to go and deal with the like one flanker that's off by himself bullying people behind us. We're meant to be like, the main tank gets us the space, and then we as the off tank run around controlling that space. So we deal with any of the errant situations happening in that space, and we try and facilitate the main tank as much as possible. So if we see like one person contesting the point, 
behind us, we're meant to go back and try to deal with that, so long as we don't think, like, the main tank's going to die when we leave them behind, you know. So here, this is all well and good, but then the target prioritization leaves something to be desired, because we start drilling into the tank rather than the soldier. We are basically full charge right now, we will drill through that soldier in a second, no big deal, and then we can move on to the tank. As it stands, we start drilling into the tank, nobody ends up killing the soldier, so now we have to kill the soldier afterwards, which we do anyway, so it ends up not mattering, they end up both dying. Like I always say, if you don't get punished, you don't have to learn. But we should definitely be prioritizing the squishy members of the team over the tanky members of the team, because we will drill through a DPS or a support in no time flat. A tank we have to commit a little bit of time to. We can always commit, and once like the tank's teammates are dead around them, the tank's fucking dead, right? Like, the tank is not likely to live anymore at that point. But we killed them both, whatever, you know, all good. Look at how much charge we get off that diva. <laughs> Look how much, oh, we are at 35. By the time that diva's demeched, 50% ult charge. Isn't that incredible? We got pinned. Oh no, we died. It's okay. We're probably going to win this team fight regardless. We get revived. Hooray, fantastic news for us. The, th the sad thing about being Rez the Zarya, you got to start at zero charge again. But we were going to win that team fight regardless of us getting res. So, all good. Who cares? Whatever. Fuck those guys. Do we see the play of the game? No, we don't see the play of the game. Um, I don't know what prompted this one. I don't really watch any Overwatch content on YouTube, to be honest with you. Spiffing Brit's fantastic. Very funny. Very entertaining. Man, largely re revolves around game exploits. Entirely what it revolves around. Let's not mince words here. Uh, Achievement Hunter is cool, you know, Rooster Teeth people, great. Max is very entertaining. If you like fighting game content, that's the bulk of what he does. If you're into fighting games, very good guy, highly recommend. And Little V-Mails, I mean, look at the thumbnail. Look at the thumbnail and tell me that you don't want to watch this, at least this video from this man. Come on. Anyway, so, um, overall, like, pretty good Zarya game, you know. I, I would say definitely still better than like the average gold Zarya player that you'd expect to see. Um, just basically too preemptive with the bubbles, uh, the at least the projected bubbles, the, 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 the E rather than the shift. Too predictive ends up resulting in us getting very little charge off of those. Um, this is particularly big for like the, the, the very first one that we did on the Reinhardt when he's just looking at the Orisa. The first two bubbles in the game as Zarya are like really important because those two bubbles can dictate how the entire round goes for you. Because if you get 80% charge off of your first two bubbles, that's fucking sick. You are set up fantastically for the first team fight at that point. So if you only end up getting like 40% charge or less out of the first two bubbles, that's a little bit sad. You know, you're not in nearly as commanding of a position in the game. So the first two bubbles in particular for a ram, it's like pretty important that those get a high amount of charge because if you can get 80 charge or close to it, you know, 80 is the dream, but if you can get like 60 plus charge out of the first two bubbles like you are in such a good position to start that round off and if you can start around strong you can try and just ride that momentum all the way through particularly for king of the hill or 2cp maps which are so snowball dependent as it is already hybrid and payload maps it can be hard to ride a single wave of momentum through the entire track but King of the Hill 2 CP, very snowball dependent, so those, the first bubbles in the round are always of, like, critical importance. So anyway, thank you very much for watching if you did. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, I'm more than happy to answer. If you haven't already, you could join our Discord, ask questions more directly, and have a conversation about them, or just ship hosts with us. I've started streaming on Twitch Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 8 p.m. EST to 11 EST. There's a link to the channel in the description. Not this week, though, because I'm fucking sick. I'm sorry, I apologize. And if you managed to make it all the way through the video and still enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe for more content of middling quality in the future, and I hope you found the video helpful.